All right. Good to see everybody this morning. Let me find my Bible verse here. Maybe. It is. We're in Proverbs chapter 4. And this is verse 23. And he tells us here. Remember, this is God's word. He tells us here. Watch over your heart. With all due diligence. Watch over your heart. With all due diligence, or some translations say vigilance. For from it, from it flow the springs of life. For from it, from your heart, flow the springs of life. So there's a warning there that you've got to watch over your heart. And he's using a heart to refer to your inner man, your, your thinking, what's going on inside you, your heart. He says you've got to watch over it. With vigilance, dil diligence. Watch over your heart. Okay, Lord, well, what are you talking about? Watch over my heart? What's that mean? Well, I believe what he means is there are things that want to claim your heart that can lead you in a bad direction. There are things that want to get your attention and get in your heart that don't bring good results. It may seem like pleasant, fun for the moment. It's the way all sin does, it's the way temptation works. Seems like it's really cool, seems like it's really fun. But in the long run, you pay a heavy price for it. Your, your heart gets polluted. And he says, from your heart flows the springs of life. And you don't want a polluted spring. You can't drink polluted water, right? That's disgusting. So you want to keep your heart pure. Now, only God can do that. But he commands us to let him work in us to purify our hearts. And we got to, when he says diligence, it, sound, it sounds like it's going to take some work. It doesn't just, doesn't just come automatically. Can you think of anything that's going on and in, in maybe out that might be tempting you, maybe not you personally, but I say you just in general, people, to, to, to maybe let your heart get polluted? What are some things that are tempting to us that can cause us to have a polluted heart? Can you think of anything? Yeah. What you watch on TV. Yeah, I'm glad you said it. That's huge, guys. What comes into your mind, into your heart, through television. My voice is not doing well again. Sorry. What, what, what comes through the television into your eyes and into your ears can really pollute your heart. Like what? I mean, obviously not everything you watch on TV is bad. What are some of the kinds of things that can pollute you? Okay, but I'm talking about on TV. Your friends can pollute you too. That's good. But, but as far as watching TV, that's the first thing you mentioned. What are some things that can come into your, not just TV, but what can come into your eyes and ears on your cell phones, maybe on your tablets, on your computers, on your TV? What are some things that can come in that can pollute your heart? False information. That's right. There are lies being told on TV. And, and it comes through social media. And they're, they're things that are just plain lies. They're not true at all. But people can make it sound good. They can make it sound like it's true. But it isn't. It's lies. That can pollute your heart. What else can pollute your heart like that? That comes into your eyes and ears on TV or computer or cell phone, those kind of things. What else? I'll tell you a big one in our day, guys. It's pornography. Pornography will pollute you. And pornography can be so tempting, especially to guys, but even to girls, it can be really tempting. But but I'm telling you, when you take that into your eyes and your ears, it affects your whole life. It affects the way you think. It affects what goes on inside you to the extent that there are many, many marriages today. And you say, well, that's a long way off for me. Mm -mm, be careful. There are many, many marriages today where they're having massive problems because one or both spouses, especially men, are really hooked onto pornography. It's polluting them and it's destroying their marriage. It, it affects every part of your life. You may th not think so. You may think, oh, this is cool. Be, be, be careful. Satan is really polluting this country with pornography, all kinds of sexual images and, and sounds and sins. It's, it's just, you got to watch over your heart with all due diligence. So, not just pornography, lies. How about profanity? I mean, there's a lot of stuff you watch it, it's just full of profanity. You ever see the F word on your on your phones, on your TV? Yeah, it's all everywhere. I mean, I'm amazed that, that people in high places, celebrities, they're just throwing that F word out there. It's disgusting. 
awful. It's disgusting. You ever hear God's name used in vain out there? Oh, yes, all the time. People get all excited, get upset. They're using God's name. And the language is polluting their hearts. It's bad language, false, disgusting language, polluting their hearts. God says, watch over your heart with all due diligence. Work at it. You're going to have to be, be wise. You may, be going, you may walk into a room and, and you've got several people laughing and giggling and looking at something. You realize, oh, my goodness. That's not good. It's going to pollute my heart. And say, I got to get out of here. And you might, if you're, if you're close enough to him, I say, guys, no, that's not a good thing for us to be watching. Let's find something else. You know, it, it, it takes courage to do that, I know. But don't let it pollute you for sure. And you want to you know, help other people not pollute themselves either. Watch over your heart with all diligence, for from it flows the springs of life. What will happen in due time, if you keep a close watch over your heart, God will eventually bring a have you ever really, really been, really been thirsty? I mean, you just been working really hard or getting sweaty or playing hard and you just, man, I got to have a drink. I got to have a drink. I don't know if you've ever gotten really, really, really thirsty or not. But sometimes you'll be in a situation where there's not any water handy. It used to be more common than it is now. We got bottles of water we carry with us all the time now. But, but, but people get really, really thirsty and nothing, nothing, nothing seems as valuable or important as good. It's just a nice long drink of water. And, and God wants your life to be like that. He wants your life to be a, source of spring of life coming out of your heart of course it's him working through you but he wants you to be a source of blessing and and not just to others but to yourself you know when you when you when you do it his way they'll look back and say thank you lord that you kept these springs of life flowing through me because uh, that's all that matters i don't want this pollution stuff. oh lord help us not do it but satan's tempting the world's tempting and our flesh is weak it's real easy to give into that stuff Watch over your heart with all diligence. For from it, from it flow the springs. I want to say flow well, every time. From it flow the springs of life. Okay, anything you want to add before I pray? All right, let's, let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for being here with us now. Thank you for this proverb. Lord, help us all to be faithful to watch over our hearts. Lord, we know that Satan loves to get into our hearts through the television, through the social media, through our cell phones, through YouTube videos, through all kinds of stuff, Lord, that he can, he can pour into us. Lord, you know how easy it is in our nation today, thanks to the internet, to watch pornography. And you know what, how it's destroying minds and hearts across this land, destroying marriages and homes. And I pray, Lord, you'd help these kids recognize that it's a poison, it's a pollutant. And Lord, you know how they use your name in vain on television and social media and and uh, celebrities and politicians, and Lord, they don't, they don't treat your name with holiness. You know how they use profanity, the F word, Lord. Everybody's throwing it around all over the place these days, all kinds of disgusting language. Lord, I pray you'd help us to not let that pollute our hearts, to not listen to that stuff, to, not, to, to reject it, to certainly not let it change us and work inside us. Lord, we want our hearts, by your grace, to produce living water, springs of water coming out of our uh, springs of life coming out of our hearts. It's really you, the Holy Spirit in us. Uh, Jesus said, everybody who trusts him and, and receives him, he said, out of our innermost being would flow rivers of living water. Lord, that's what we want to happen. Not pollution, not disgusting junk. So help us, Lord. We don't produce vomit in our hearts. We want to produce pure, clean, spiritual proof and water. So use us today, Lord, for that purpose. Help us to walk with you through the day. Help us to listen to you today. Help us to pay attention to your word. I pray you'd impress more kids to get involved in the Bible Memory Club. I pray you'd bless chapel today. I pray you'd help us to bless each other and teachers and today, our parents, and siblings, people that you bring into our lives. We want to represent Jesus to them. Help us to pay attention to you, to give you lots of thanksgiving, to give you lots of praise, to give you lots of worship, and bring you lots of glory. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Stay in the battle, guys. Have a blessed day.